Hello. I've read another book that was sent to me by Net Galley, and I will be honest, I don't think I've ever read anything like it. It was so totally bizarre. I don't even know where to start. If you asked me to cat, if you asked me to categorise it, I, I just wouldn't know where to put it. It's called The Cabinet by Eun Soo Kim and it's a translation from the Korean and it's about cabinet number 13 and cabinet number 13 has got its name purely because it's the 13th cabinet and this cabinet houses files of what are called symptomers and these are humans who are evolving to be new humans. You've got stories of people with such bizarre conditions. You've got the man who's got a ginkgo tree growing from his finger. You've got people who eat steel whose diet consists purely of petrol, gasoline. You've got memory mosaicers who create, who change memories so that they, they take their life and they change their memory so that their life becomes something totally different. You've got people who lose time, not just spacing out for a couple of minutes like we all do when we're daydreaming, but they will lose a year, two years. And it is full of these stories. We have two characters. We have Professor Kwon, who is reaching the end of his life. He has always looked after the cabinet and been responsible for the people within the cabinet, whose stories are within the cabinet. And then you've got Mr. Kong, and Mr. Kong is totally bored with his job, absolutely mind-numbingly bored. And he comes across this cabinet and spends all his time just reading through these files. Absolutely fascinated. And then Mr. Kwon, Professor Kwon, decides to employ him to be his assistant and he's there organising the files, he's there answering the phones to these symptomers and talking to them and, and 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 that's the story and then you've got the syndicate who want to get hold of these files because they might be very valuable and and this book should come with a trigger warning because towards the end you have got some unspeakable torture in there that you're not expecting, having read all these bizarre little stories, you do not expect this torture scene towards the end of the book. Um, that's it. It's, it's a very, very strange book. Um, like nothing I've ever read before. You, you keep going because you get, you get drawn in to these bizarre stories and think, well, what's going to happen in the next file and what's he going to find in in the next file and who's going to phone up this time because he gets a man phoning up whose one desire is to turn into a cat um totally bizarre if if you like books that are off the scale that are not mainstream that different pick it up it comes out in october i failed you again I have forgotten to write down when it comes out, so I'm going to have to put it in the description box below. But I'm pretty sure it's October it comes out. And that's The Cabinet, a translation from the Korean. And um, yes, I'd love to know what you think if you pick it up and read it. I'm dying to know what somebody else thinks about it. So, happy reading, take care and bye.